Last time on Biography of a Man. Tim fled into the wasteland to avoid work. Uh, I mean, seek his freedom? Individuality? Whatever. It did not go well. I'm sure he's dead by now. Perhaps we should check in on him. Just as I expected. You didn't even last a week. <sighs> what else do you expect from a man like- Oh, hello, Tim. I didn't see you there. Tim had found refuge in the remains of an old drive-in movie theater. This could be his new home. He just had to clear the area first. That is not a good idea, Tim. That's dangerous. Where did you even get grenades? Jesus! Well, that's one way to do it, I suppose. After finally clearing the space, Tim built himself a cozy little home with a small garden. Surprisingly competent of you, Tim. But there was one problem. Others have found you. I don't suppose you'll... No, of course not. Tim returned to the Red Rocket gas station. He thought it could make a good home. It was sturdy, far away from people, but not too far. Yes, he could definitely make a home here. So Tim began setting up. First, Tim built himself a nice gate, but there was something wrong. It wasn't very useful. So then, Tim built some walls. Very good work, Tim, surprisingly. The only strange thing to happen was when that robot showed up with the two-headed cow. Tim thought about running them off, but changed his mind. Instead, he just went to his room to get some sleep. Tim awoke the next day to rain. He went outside for a moment. That was when he spotted them. A lady and another two-headed cow. This time he ran them off. That wasn't very nice. This place is everything you hoped for, Tim. A roof over your head, quiet, no one to tell you to do things. <coughs> Lazy. <coughs> What was that? Oh, I guess people just want to be around you, Tim. I guess that means it's time to go. Wait, why did you only build... Ugh, never mind. In his travels, Tim came across an old railway station. Maybe this could be your home. But no, the current inhabitants didn't take too kindly to Tim's presence. Not too kindly at all. A short time later, Tim came across a farm. The farmer was unpleasant. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Especially after Tim helped himself to her crops. You shouldn't steal from farmers, Tim. As Tim wandered, cold, wet, and tired, he suddenly remembered something. He had met a strange woman while he was wandering on the road earlier. Yeah. Hey there. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob? Or just ask directions? 
connections to Diamond City. Tim didn't know what Diamond City was, but maybe he could live there. He just had to find Carla again. He did find her again, back in Sanctuary of all places. Carla. You again. Here to trade? Did you say something about directions to Diamond City earlier? Directions. Hmm, figures. Just keep going until you see the skyline. Cross the river. You'll find the Great Green Jewel just inside the city limits. So he headed out once more. The road to Diamond City was a long one, but Tim was determined. He tried his best to avoid people and the local wildlife. Sneaking past the scarier places, finally the city loomed before him. A mess, just like everywhere else, and fraught with danger. Run, Tim! Run! He knew he was getting close. As it turned out, Diamond City was in the old baseball stadium. Head on inside. Diamond City, for all its grit and grime, was impressive. The noodle vendor was strange. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Why, thank you, helpful stranger. Tell me a joke. What are you saying? No. Tim just could not understand the robot. All of the stores seemed to be closed. Everyone was asleep. Except for random street people. Tim decided to find somewhere to sleep for the night. What did that child just say about machines? Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. That sounds horrifying. Oh well. Nothing Tim could do about it. Best to get some sleep. Perhaps no one would bother him on this couch. Tim awoke to more rain and a very stiff neck. He decided to look around the town some more. New guy. That's you, right? The new guy? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. But Tim had no money to spend, so he just walked away. Awkwardly. You then! You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. What's a swatter? I'm <laughs> rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet and play a game called baseball. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats. And, and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Tim didn't know the slightest thing about baseball. Sounds like fun. Bet your socks it was. Now, how about you pick up a little memento in the form of a genuine swatter? This lady looks nice. I don't know you. 
Just keep your distance. Why? Because I don't know you, and I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. So are you human? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough, but I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? And crazy? Hey, Scabber. Got plenty of Brahmin meat on the hooks. Wait, what kind of meat is this? You never heard of Brahmin? Big, dumb, got four legs and two heads? They're the only cattle around. Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes, we get weird stuff from the caravans, too. Weird stuff? Weirder than two-headed cow meat? Yeah, Prince Charming. Weirder than that. Mirelurk bloat flies, rad stags. It's all protein, right? Ain't like you can be picky in the Commonwealth. At least you know what the meat is now. Tim grew weary of the big city life and decided he missed his little house at the drive-in, so he left Diamond City. It wasn't such a bad little place, and there weren't too many people here. He could manage, for now. Though he would need supplies. Wasn't there a super-duper mart nearby? <laughs>